The manhunt for Brian Laundrie is broadening into new territory, with the FBI now aware of a possible sighting near the Appalachian Trail. I'm absolutely 100% sure that was the guy. My heart was thumping. Hiker Dennis Davis describes to Fox News the moment he pulled up next to a man in a white truck. He believes was in fact wanted fugitive Brian Laundrie. It was around 1230 Saturday morning near the Tennessee, North Carolina border. And I started talking with the gentleman. Um, I could tell right away there that um, he wasn't, something wasn't right with him. After the man drove off, Davis looked at photos of Laundry on his phone. Convinced it was him, he called 911 and the FBI. I'm telling you, this was the guy. Meanwhile, the Petito family is taking to Twitter. Gabby's mom, Nicole Schmidt, tweeted Saturday, writing, quote, Mama Bear is getting angry. Turn yourself in. Joseph Petito agrees. While frustration may be building over the search, former FBI special agent and USF professor of criminology, Brianna Fox, says law enforcement may know more than they're saying. When the FBI or local law enforcement are conducting investigations, keeping their cards close to their chest is integral to making sure the integrity of that investigation is protected. Some of the biggest questions still out there. What exactly did the Laundry family know, and when did they know it? There's this period of time before Gabby was reported missing where the family was together, the Laundry family was together. Obviously, Brian's now missing it. If they did anything during that period of time to help him flee the vicinity, the county, the state, or the country, they certainly could be uh, facing charges. The Laundry family attorney says Brian's parents don't know where he is, adding in a statement any accusations that they helped him flee the FBI are, quote, just wrong. Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.